team. I, I, I thought we beat a good basketball team that's a little bit older, very physical, well coached, have good players, and they played their butts off. Um, I thought this was a great game for us. It, it, it's a great game to learn from. I can't wait to get to the film. And I think there's so many teachable moments from this game that will help us as we go forward. Um, I'm really proud of our guys for being resilient um, and fighting. You know, we had some great individual performances. I thought Jalen Lowe came in in the first half and was unbelievable. And it was great to see him trust his shot um, and trust his instincts. And I thought he gave us a huge boost. I thought Will's defense throughout the game was one of the big reasons why we were able to win. Um, Anderson was coming in averaging 14 and a half points. He was leading them in scoring. And I thought Will did a great job on him. But at times, especially in the last three minutes, Will guarded everybody. Um, came up with some big steals, big rebounds. Uh, just was outstanding. I thought Ish made some big plays. I thought Blake, with not playing as well as he's capable of playing, made a huge three and made a drive for a layup. So he and then had a good defensive possession. I thought he did some good things. Obviously, Ish, you know, driving and, 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 and defending and scoring and making big plays and, you know, being a facilitator for us. And obviously, Bob, you know, did some really, really good things. And so there's some great things to learn from this game, some real live game situations that we try to simulate in practice but it's different when there are people here and there's someone coming after you. I thought some of them we didn't handle well, but the last one I thought we did a really, really good job of, and so I'm proud of that. Jeff, what were some of the defensive adjustments you guys made when Florida Gulf Coast started to get some of the baskets underneath? We tried to double the post. Um, that's something we worked on yesterday. We anticipated them watching film in their first two games. I thought their two post guys were good. Um, you know, the... Kid Kelvin was a really good player at Princeton on that team that went to the Sweet 16. Uh, I think he was second in the Ivy League in field goal percentage. So obviously a very confident player, played well against Indiana and uh, Ave Marie and Ware too. They're big physical guys. And so it was really good for us to play against that. We haven't seen that yet this year. And we know that that's coming uh, with, with as, as, as we go forward with our schedule. So we tried to double the post at times um, and just tried to make it a little bit tougher for them uh, to get initial position. Um, again, we don't have that in practice, so it's not something we practice against all the time, that type of physicality that those two guys had. Uh, so I thought we did a good job there. You know, we did a better job of individual defense, not just getting blown by in the first half. I think their first five points came. We got beat. Uh, one was on the baseline opposite our bench. Uh, and they kicked it out for a three in the corner. Um, same spot, drove it, dumped it off to the post guy. And uh, so that hurt us there. We had a game plan for Barno, uh, who started for him to go under. He made his pay. So salute to that kid, because he's been in the gym working. Um, he had a three, he had a couple threes and a pull up early, quick eight points. Um, that was different. You know, we live with that. We made an adjustment after that. Uh, you know, but again, I thought our guys did a much better job of fighting in the second half. But like I said, th th this was good for us because our defense was tested. This was not as good of a performance defensively as we've had, and that hopefully we have going forward, and hopefully we learn a lot from this. Did you feel like there's some of the switches that you guys did when you started doubling and they, they were trying to use ball movement off of that? It seemed like you guys got faster as the game got Well, I, I thought in the first half we didn't – do some of the things that we're supposed to do. We didn't switch at times on some of the ball screens. So they were able to turn the corner and get downhill and that put pressure on Fetty and G. You know, those guys were having to make a decision whether to help up, they did, they had a guy in the dunker spot that they hit, or if they didn't, the guys were getting floaters because we were behind. I thought we did a much better job of doing what we're supposed to do in the second half of making those switches. Um, you know, we still have to continue to get better. We got a little bit better today. We have to continue to get better of just ball watching. They had a big three. We had the guy contained on the baseline in front of their bench on a drive, but the guy sprinted from the opposite side and got a wide open naked three right in front of their bench because we were ball watching. We have to do a better job there.
Jeff, there was a big stretch in this where Blake was kind of cold. What does it say about your team that it's it's the new guys who are coming in here and, and picking up the slack? Yeah, well, you know, I, I think we have a good team. I think we have good players. We're confident in them. They're confident in themselves and their abilities. Um, you know, I thought in the first half we actually extended the lead when Blake was out. I thought our defense will, you know, did a heck of a job defending. And like I mentioned earlier, Jalen was 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 terrific. Um, you know, in the second half, you know, Blake didn't make some shots, missed a couple of free throws, but he had a huge three. He had a drive where he was able to get to the basket, which was a big play for us. Uh, but we have guys that are capable of making big plays. Ish, I think, said a minute ago that, that Jalen, after he made those first couple buckets, that he could really see him feel like he started to belong on that floor. Did, did Jalen need a shot of confidence a little bit? I don't think, I don't agree with him there that he belonged. I think he's always felt that he belonged, and he's played well. He just couldn't make a shot. So obviously when you make a shot, you start to get a little bit more confidence. Um, I don't think he lacked confidence because it wasn't like he wasn't shooting in the other games. He was still taking the shots. And I tell him all the time, as long as they're good shots, I'm, I'm good with it. Um, but to see the basketball go through, I thought was huge for him. He's a good player, man. He is. I, mean, I thought we were talking about the shots. I thought he made some heck of a passes, you know, off the ball screen. And that's what he's been doing all the time. I thought he was maybe a little bit pressed uh, because he couldn't make a shot, that he got away from that a little bit. I thought today he was back more of who he's been as this guy that can play make and do some different things. This is the closest your team has really been in a game in the second half. Did you notice them calm, or did you feel that they were maybe a little on edge? What were they like in the huddle when it was a one-score game? Like? I thought they were determined. I, I thought they were locked in. You know, again, some unbelievable teachable moments. I think we had a 15-point lead with a little bit over eight minutes left. And we did not handle that situation well. We didn't get stops. Um, and it led them to cut it to, to where it was a one-possession game. But then I thought we did a heck of a job down the stretch of extending it and getting it back to double figures. You know, we had a, I think we were up 10. And we got a stop, pushed it. And that's when Fetty missed the lob. We got the rebound. We should pull that back out and take some time. But we rushed then and missed the layup. I think the next time down, we missed a shot, got an offensive rebound. We should pull it out. We tried to make a bounce pass in traffic, and we went up and tried to shoot over two guys. Well, we should pull that back out. That's what I mean. There's some unbelievable teachable moments for us in this game um, where we can learn a lot and get better. How do you feel like you guys have responded to some of the teachable moments that you guys had in the first two games? I think they've responded well. I mean, look, I've said it all along. This is a really good group. I enjoy being around them. They want to be good. They want to learn. Um, I think we have a high ceiling. Um, and as long as we continue to have the right attitudes and come in and be about the right stuff, then I think we will get better. On the note of teachable moments, I mean, that's what you hope to have in these early games, right, against the, the mid-majors. Yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, look, I, like I said, I, I think this team is good. I mean, I think they went on the road last year and won at USC. Um, they're an older team. You know, Coach Chambers is a heck of a coach. Um, he's instilled a culture there of fighting and competing and playing hard, and he's got some good players. I think they're going to win a lot of games. And so to be able to do this, score this many points, and not shoot free throws well, and not shoot the three ball as well as we're capable of doing, I think that's big for us. We got a, we got tested defensively this game by better players. Nothing against North Carolina A&T, nothing against Binghamton, but these guys I think are just a little bit better. And so it'll give us some things that we have to continue to work on and talk to our guys and, and watch film and get better. Any particular reason that Jorge only played two minutes? He got in foul trouble in the first half. We got lineups in the second half and played. Did you like that dynamic with the three guards? Did you learn for a little bit there? Yeah, we, we do that in practice a lot. I mean, so that's that's we, it's probably the first time we've done it in a game. In the games that we've played so far, we, we've been up by a lot, so we really haven't done it. Um, but I'm, I'm comfortable with that. We're comfortable with that. What does that do for you guys defensively? It seems like he, he seems to find a way to be in a lot of different places. Yeah, he, he's a great help side defender and blocking shots. Um, you know, he can be athletic and, you know, contest and get some steals. And 
do some things like that. Uh, he's got to continue to get better individually, one-on-one -on -one defense and concentrate all the time, but he has a level of athleticism that we haven't had since I've been here. Coach, your thoughts on your team just continuing to get average at least 40 plus rebounds a game? Well, you know, I want us to be a really good rebounding team. Um, you know, we, we did a heck of a job with it tonight, again, against a team that was a little bit bigger, a little bit more athletic than the first team that we played, first two teams, I should say, that we played. Um, so so I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Uh, we know the competition will get stiffer, um, you know, as, as we continue to go up in levels with the competition that we'll play. Uh, but hopefully these rebounding numbers can continue to be really good.